Right now, I'm at Lake Superior here in Marquette, and as you can see behind me, the lake is quite iced over right now, and there actually have been quite a few ice rescues in the Upper Peninsula. So we wanted to see what first responders do in an emergency like an ice rescue. So I was able to meet with the Coast Guard, and they showed me some of the special equipment that they use in their training exercises. Before I could get suited up, I had to take a short class on survival tips. Seaman Domingo says one of the most important things to do is to stay calm, but also stay motivated. That will for survival can help get yourself out of the situation. After the class, it was time to suit up. They walked me through all the parts to the dry suit. Basically a polypropylene top and bottoms that you're gonna be wearing. This is gonna keep you dry. It's gonna help keep the sweat away from your body as you're in the ice or out there moving around. Your next layer, is going to be your thermal layer. So this, what we call a bunny suit. It is a fleece suit, kind of like footy pajamas. You're going to hop in here, and this will keep you nice and warm the whole time you're out there in the ice. And then your final third layer is going to be your actual dry suit. So this right here is the same thing that we're wearing when we're going out. It is fully sealed, so you have two holes for your wrists and a hole for your neck. You're fully covered from your feet all the way up. This will keep all the water out, keep you nice and warm. Before we did the actual ice rescue demonstration, testing the suit for any leaks was necessary. We did a 15 minute suit test in Lake Superior. And I'll be honest, going into Lake Superior in the middle of January didn't sound like the greatest idea, but the dry suit kept my body warm and for the most part dry. Hey, how do you feel right now? Heavy, but I feel good. Are I'm ready. Cold? Are you cold? Not really. No? No, huh? it's really heavy. <laughs> today I am with Petty Officer Bailey with the U.S. Coast Guard here in Marquette and so tell me what's going on today. Yeah, so today we are extremely excited to have you come out with us and be able to do this full live demonstration of what it's like for us to have a search and rescue case. Um, we're extremely fortunate that we are able to actually have you go into the ice. Uh, you're going to experience what it's like to walk out there. You're going to experience what it's like to go through a potential uh, worst case scenario of falling through the ice. And um, what we're going to do is just run our case exactly how we would do in, a, in any kind of um, case scenario where it's an emergency situation. Uh, you're going to be completely safe. You're going to be supervised in many different ways. You're going to be out there on the ice with the crew. You're going to be out there with, on the ice with some supervisors on ice and the supervisors on pier. Yeah, what we're doing today is just showing you what it's like to uh, be rescued. Good morning, Coast Guard Station Marquette. Petty Officer Howard speaking. How can I help you? My name is Terry. My friend just fell through the ice. All right, so you said you're a Cinder Pond Marina, and you said your friend is a female, correct? So there's just you and your uh, friend out on the ice right now? Now, ice team prepared to what? Ice team prepared to 4297. All right, thank you. We'll be out shortly. All right, let's go through a quick car. So, planning, game plan, we're going to go out there, we're going to get on the scene, set situation, figure out our best option for pulling the person out. Zero one person in the water, two on scene. They were in for 30 seconds, but we got a phone call. Yeah, I got Board. All right, uh, Tim, you're going to be my primary. Smith, you're going to be my line tender. I'll be on ice with you to help and assess. Roger. Roger. Good. Good. Man, we're with the United States Stand Coast Guard. Can you hear me? I can hear you. How long have you been in the water? Just a few moments. Are you by yourself? I am. Can you feel your arms and legs? I can. All right, she's by herself for only a few minutes to feel her arms and legs. I'm gonna come get you out, all right? All right. So I'm gonna get this around you. Okay. Stand by to heave around! Stand by to heave around! Heave around!
that was crazy. <laughs> now, if, if this ever happened to me for real, I know I'd be, I'd feel very safe with them helping me. So they did a great job.